y'all. Another day, another baby appointment. Let's go. All right, it's January 8th, it's 1 p.m. Got my 28 week ultrasound and appointment and glucose test. This is our, actually our last appointment in Denver before we go to Texas. Yes. It's crazy. I just cannot believe. Oh, we gotta tell the doc about that today. No, we don't. When are you gonna tell him? I'll just not schedule appointment. People do that all the time. Today we'll get to see like, I think it's just a check-in so we get to see how much he's grown. And I've obviously, my last ultrasound was the 20 week appointment. So the anatomy scan. So this is like a big catch up. So I'm excited, but I'm excited to see him and see how much he's grown. My guy. See how I'm measuring. I'm not excited for this. What if they're like you're two weeks ahead? <sighs> I hope <laughs> they're not gonna say that. Okay, I gotta drink this now. Chug, chug, chug. chug Last time I did chug. this, it didn't taste like anything. So I'm like, not really expecting anything, but. It's fruit punch flavor. Doesn't even smell bad. All right. It's just a drink. Mmm. You're supposed to finish it in five minutes. And like when you start drinking it and you can't eat for like two to three hours beforehand. I, so I haven't eaten since. Yeah, please get this one with some food. I haven't eaten since like 8 a.m. And the reason why I booked my appointment so late is because him. So I can make sure he could come. So Been you're busy. welcome. Been busy. I wish you could have a taste. It tastes good to me. I got five minutes, bro. What is... You got two minutes, actually. Wait, so 28 weeks. What does baby look like this week? What is... What's he uh, uh, measuring? Also... I'm almost 28 weeks. I actually scheduled this one a little bit earlier because, again, we're leaving. So, wanted to get this ultrasound in before I left. Cabbage. He's a cabbage. Or. <sighs> Pilates ring. <laughs> a Pilates ring? A milkshake. Large milkshake with whipped cream and a straw. I will say, I don't remember Lennon being this active. Like, he is so active in my tummy. Like, I don't know if that's a boy versus girl thing. Lennon was like, I mean, she was like active, but I've I've never felt like this. And I, I'm like very interested to see what position he's in because I can't tell. Mm -hmm. Right now, they're supposed to be starting to face down. Um, I am almost 28 weeks, so... He, he, he still has a little bit of time, but like once they get so big, they can't flip. So let's hope he's down. Please, Lord, please. We're just reading up on. <laughs> Look at my tongue. Is it red? Baby recognizes your voices. Yeah, he was punching Jarrett last week. Yeah, he was. That was wild. And we were playing music and he would punch where the music was. Like, Lennon never did that. Let's see. Maybe she's just hard of hearing. <laughs> Probably. By choice. She has selective hearing, like. <laughs> selective hearing. <gasps> okay. Almost done. <clears throat> that was dramatic. No, I was clearing my throat. This is the longest drink ever. You know what? It's starting to acid reflux already. Mm. Ah. Cheers. Cheers. Let's go see baby boy. Oh my God, it's like spicy. What the frick? Oh, that does taste weird now. Be careful getting out, Spicy. Please. Um... Okay, bye. My goodness, those toes. Can you see your face, little boy? Looks like you got his mama's toes. Probably. Oh, that's his face right there, right? Oh my god, I see it. Oh. <laughs> Look at you. Well, I am a gay with the 
pictures. Yeah. You, but it was all because of you. Look at the hard work. Like a fight him. Finally gave up. Chunky already. Yeah, he does. And he is. He's got some pretty lips. He has some oh, pretty lips. Oh my goodness. Do you see him? Oh, he's yawning. <laughs> he yawn? Yeah. What? Oh, now his hand's going back to his mouth. Oh my goodness. Well, y'all. Finally, get to see his little face. My guy's a stud. Look at that. Oh my goodness, I'll do a up close one, but got lots of updates because little baby boy ain't so little. So basically they told me I have to get a growth scan in about a month because he's measuring three weeks ahead. <laughs> He's measuring, so I'm 27 weeks in like three days, technically. And he is measuring 30 weeks in like six days. <laughs> Which is not, like usually it's like they let a two week window, like a two week window is normal, but if it's like more than three, then you start doing growth scans to see, I don't really know why, but they just to make sure everything's like, God, he's so bright. like he's not gonna be like a 20 pound baby. <laughs> coming out of me that'd be crazy actually that'd be wild but the ultrasound tech was actually amazing she got us so many so many pictures but he was she also said he has very long legs sounds like, like an athlete and a big ass head <laughs> literally that's all they kept saying sounds was, like a really smart athlete <laughs> he, the, all they kept saying was his head is so big and I'm like, what do you mean? It's in the 99th percentile. <laughs> I'm like, Lennon never had that. It's like, big brain. You know what they say about big brains? What do they say? I don't know. They're smart. <laughs> so, how wild is that? I just feel like with Lennon, they were always like, oh yeah, she's gonna be big. She's gonna be good. And she is in like the 99th percentile now. But like, she came out 7'7, seven, seven, like normal, but. They're all like, the head is the most accurate, um, what did he say? Um, the head is the most well, accurate. Well, no, it's, it's, the, it's the easiest thing to measure. Because easiest thing to like rely on because it's the most calcified. That's what it was. He's like, it's the easiest measurement to rely on and that is measuring 30 weeks and six days. So, love that. But we got lots of good videos, lots of cute ones. He's like yawning in it. I'm like, I've literally never seen we never even saw Lennon's face that clear. Like, honestly. I feel like we did, though. No, I feel like we didn't. I need to go back and look. Oh, my gosh. Like, he, it's so clear. Oh, it's so sweet and squishy. Like, so squishy. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah. Did my glucose test. We'll know the results soon, hopefully. What are those results show? If I have gestational diabetes, but I didn't with Lennon, so hopefully I don't. Um, and then you have to be put on medication or something. But me and Jared saw something on my ultrasound. It was like a like my due date is April fifth, obviously, and then it was like my updated estimated due date was March seventeenth, and I'm like, quite a difference. What? They were like. I mean, it's like an estimation just because you're measuring more than two weeks ahead. And I was like, that's like a whole month. I can't do that. I can't. But I did my dream. My dream could be coming true. I mean, we'll see. I, I bet the guy's coming early. I mean, I hope he's coming early. If he stays full term with a 99 percentile head. Do you have like anything more for the nursery or anything? Yeah, I mean, it should be sending soon. All right, well, anyways, me and Jerry had like a big wake up call because we were just like, okay, we got to get going, especially gotta get finding, we got to find an OB in Fort Worth. Fort Worth or Dallas. So hit me up if you guys know any, please, please hit me up. That's the 28 week update. 
Hopefully I don't have gestational diabetes. Um, we're gonna go get Chick-fil-A because we're starving. Next time I do this, I guess I'll do our growth, growth update because we'll be back in a month. Thumbs up. I forgot to do an up close video, so. There we go. Look at him. My goodness, so squishy. Those lips. Oh, I love it. And then, lips. Oh, bubs. Can't wait to meet you. What is up, y'all? Welcome back to the vlog. It is a game day vlog. Well, technically it's Saturday, tomorrow, Sunday. I'm flying out to Vegas for the last game of the season. Um, I told you guys we were doing a huge Broncos girls trip. My bag's right there. We are ready to go. Um, I have like all my makeup done and my hair done because once we get there, we're going straight to dinner and I'm taking all the girls to a show. I'm showing them a little fun Vegas time from our, you know, our time living there, so. I'm so excited. Little last hurrah. Unfortunately, obviously, we if you've been following along, we didn't make the playoffs. Um, but Jarrett is starting the last two games. So last game was his first start in the orange and blue for Denver and his first career win, which is a little fun thing. So I'm excited to go support him and all of that tomorrow. Uh, but we're so excited. And my Uber is here, so I am rushing out the door so we'll catch up more when I get to Vegas but got a flight to catch so let's go To dinner, we are headed to catch. Not, not here. <laughs> I will stay in the bathroom. I'm sharing a room with Meg and Brooke, and we are having a girls sleepover, so we love that. But now we're rushing. Our dinner reservation was at 6:30, and it is currently 6:30. But I already fixed the guys, so we're fine. But our plane got delayed like 20 minutes, so. Making magic happen. Vegas, night one. Well, we only have two nights, so really. 24 hours in Vegas starts now. All right, already. The girls are ready. Let's see. The girls are girling. Woo! She is fiery and she is fiery. My heels on. I wish there was a full body mirror. All right, well, there is no full body mirror in this place, so here's my outfit and my shoes. All right, we're running late to dinner, so we out. Bye.
what time is it? 11.15. 11.15 and we are rushing out to the game. Gotta get changed because we are literally going from the game to the plane. So we're trying to get all our stuff packed, get ready. It's been kind of like a relaxing morning, but then it got rushed real quick. I don't know how, it just kind of happens that way. So we love that. Uh, but I still gotta get changed. Um, I feel like I introed this already. We're in Vegas, obviously. Um, had a, such a fun night last night with all the Broncos ladies, women. It was so fun. Um, we went to catch, went to absinthe, and then some of the girls went to the club afterwards. Some of the girls went to bed, mostly the pregnant ones. So love that for me. And yeah, so happy game day. Time to go get dressed because we need to head out and get on the bus. And the girlies are girling. Woo! I love that. Okay, my I'm rushing. This is the outfit. Got the Prada bucket hat, got the Stidham bag, and then the back is where it's at. All right, so cute. Oh my God, this door. I'm kind of in a rush. <laughs> Mm, mm cute, cute, cute. Oh my god, I love. Had a little cute. crisis with my bum, but oh, I can still kind of see it. It's so slight. God, it's so ridiculous. Whatever. We're killing it. Yeah, it's a little. Go Broncos, go baby. Broncos. Let's go. Hello, ladies. Outfit of the day. The calm before the storm. Saturday night. <laughs> Last night. Yeah. That was the storm. Yeah, we saw. One of two of the girls that went to the club. <laughs> I said, a lot of girls went to the club. Pregnant one did not. <laughs> but uh, we made it in the bus. Shout out to Mama T because she keeps us in, in check. Yeah, but it's like a 25 minute walk. Right now. As soon as you pop the champagne. Right now. Yeah, no. 
guys, I was thinking it had like a pressurized plane. <laughs> 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 Kelly goes, we're on a pressurized plane. <laughs> Sound from Vegas. Jarrett is like right behind me, so that was clutch. Had such a fun weekend, and although obviously it didn't end with a win, um, this season was so fun and so different than any team we've ever been on, which was such a fun experience. And I'm looking forward to next year already. Like, I'm so excited for that. And we obviously ended off on like a good note, um, like team wise and friendship wise, and we won the last game and then we lost this one, but like, you know, it wasn't for anything. So it was just kind of like a, it would have been nice to win, obviously, but I'm so proud of Jared and just how he handles everything like he does and just praying for a fun next season as well. We don't know what the future holds, as always. You guys know from following me and us through this whole journey about how unpredictable it is. So I'm just lucky to be able to share it with you guys and hopefully show you guys a different side of it. That's kind of like my debriefing here is just like thankfulness and support and like we control what we can control in this household and we, I'm, I am just so proud of Jared and everything he was able to accomplish this year and through this team like this team has been so different than any team we've ever been on and I have loved every single second and I would love to be here so we hope obviously we're here for his contract says one more year I, this is kind of like just like me debriefing but his contract is one more year we obviously again as you guys know NFL stands for not for long you don't know where you're gonna be so we're just hoping and praying we're here and I we love it here so and he got his opportunity after some craziness that happened so and I'm so proud of what he did with that and we can just hope to continue to build off that next year but yeah I'm just I feel like I really didn't get to like talk to y'all much this vlog just because game day vlogs for me like whenever he's playing it's just kind of like all over the place so and of course today was like our homecoming to Vegas and obviously we would have loved to beat the Raiders but doesn't happen sometimes I'm gonna blame it on vlogging because vlogging's bad luck I'm kidding can't think that way I think Jared should be home any second we like all the girls this weekend had such a blast like we had our last hurrah and I just again this team is so different than any team we've ever been on like the camaraderie is just different and it's everyone loves each other like genuinely loves each other and wants everyone to succeed and it's just so cool I just love it but now we get to show you guys what an off season looks like at least you know what it already looks like but We've got so much going on this off season. Going back to Texas in about five days. Packing up this week. So our week now, like our transition into off season, like we didn't make the playoffs, obviously. We have some, Jared has some exit meetings. I have a baby appointment that we need to get to. And then we are out of here for three months. So we will go back to Texas January, in like a week, five days. And then 
be nesting and waiting for baby boy's arrival in three months. God, I cannot believe he will be here by the next time we are back in this house. Like, it's wild to me. But yeah, so that's kind of what it looks like for the next few days is just Jared's exit meetings, some like health treatment stuff. They all have to get like MRIs and stuff like that. I'm like, oh. yeah, he got hit a couple times this game. So we're just praying for healthy off season, which is what we got, so he's healthy. So um, now we just pack up and get out of here and get to Texas and then we will be back in April. So that is coming up on us so fast, but I'm excited for off season. We don't have much planned obviously, except for his training. Oh, he's here. comes home and he gets beat up. <laughs> it was a fun season though. It's one of the best times I've ever had. Amen. Love you. Love you. Here's to a good off season. Can't wait for my guy to be here. And watch you next year. Yeah. For at least a couple months. That's all that matters. Family time, landing time, baby time, mama time. I have a husband. It's the only plus thing of not making the playoffs, I guess. There's not many though. I think I'd rather be in the playoffs, but it's okay. See y'all in the off season. Like two weeks. Well. I told them we're flying home very soon. Are you gonna vlog all that? Like going back to the house? No, because I'm flying alone. All right, 